Now, as we just mentioned, there is a ground stop right now at Philadelphia International because of the storms moving through our area. And for some passengers, this is not the news they wanted to hear or see. Some have been stuck in our area since last night because of the severe weather that hit here and along the East Coast. CBS Philadelphia reporter Nikki Dementory is at the airport right now. She caught up with some frustrated passengers. Nikki? Frustrated to say the least, and tensions are mounting here at the airport. That ground stop is for inbound flights heading towards Philadelphia. They're currently being held at whatever city they're coming to or coming from, I should say, and that is until 5 p.m. So passengers are certainly making sure they keep an eye on the arrivals and departure board as these storms start to roll in. Miserable. <laughs> Frustrations are mounting for Kathy Copen as she waits to check into a Raleigh, North Carolina Frontier flight. Her original United flight, she says, was canceled due to weather. I couldn't find another flight out, so I'm flying Frontier for the first time. Copen is bringing her dog Buzz along for the ride as they're back for round two, hoping to take off. She says she wasn't supposed to travel alone, but her rebooked flight only had one ticket, so her travel partner is driving down to meet her. I was looking at other airlines. Uh, American was 16 for a one-way flight. The cheapest was Frontier. It is 5 in the morning. Yeah. I was supposed to be in Rochester at 8 p.m. I am missing work right now. I'm not happy about that. <laughs> Stranded travelers like Vic Cohen decided to take to the road as cancellations and delays with airlines nationwide continued. FlightAware notes more than 65 flights into and out of Philadelphia International were canceled within the last 24 hours. Because everybody's flight was canceled, all their rental cars were gone. Yeah, Aviation expert John Gagliano says the cancellations and delays are unavoidable when it comes to weather. That has nothing to do with 5G. That has nothing to do with staffing. Planes cannot fly through bad weather. Gagliano says while the weather disruptions are certainly frustrating for travelers, it's important to remember the delays and cancellations are all in the name of safety. But realize that at least you're safe on the ground and not in some sort of trouble in the air. A good perspective to remember. Now, I just actually spoke with some high school students from New Jersey. They were trying to head to Madrid, but their flight to Toronto through Air Canada just got canceled. They're actually right behind my photographer, Alan, right now. They're trying to get their luggage and figure out what to do next, as many people are here in baggage claim right now. Coming up at 5, we are sitting down and speaking with experts about what you can do to try to avoid all these travel headaches. But for now, live at Philadelphia International, Nikki Dementry, back to you both in the studio. As Andrew just mentioned, patience is key right now. At least some of the passengers were smiling a little bit after they told this story. A little bit. All right, Nikki, Nikki thank thanks. So Appreciate it. As always, count on CBS News Philadelphia anytime severe weather strikes. You can check the forecast when we are not on television by going to our website, cbsphiladelphia.com/slash weather. And so to come on.